What is going on lunatics? A little bit different video that I got for you today and we're gonna go through Six Sense plastics. And here's why I wanna put this video out right now is because Six Sense is having a gigantic sale on their Six Sense plastics. The discount code you guys need to go use to take advantage of this sale is SP25. It probably just flashed somewhere on the screen right here, but that's the discount code you guys need to use to get 25% off your Six Cents plastic baits. And in this video, I wanna show you how awesome these baits are. I've caught fish on literally every single bait in some shape or form that we're gonna go through today. And little segue into this, it's every single one of them. And um, I wanna go through these baits. One, because I want you guys to take advantage of that discount code. It's a better code than mine is normally. Mine's usually a 10% code. So right now they're giving you 25% off. But that 10% off code, the Luna 10, code that you guys have been using, which thank you very much for using that code. I really, really appreciate it. It's good for the hooks. It's good for your hard baits. It's good for the swim jigs. It's good for everything else on the Sixth Sense website, the rods, everything. That code will work for everything on the site. Um, there's a couple of the sub subscription things that the code won't work for, but everything else other than that is gonna work. And make sure you use that SP25 for the soft plastics to make sure you take advantage of that 25% off. So the first thing I wanna do with you guys is tell you each of the individual baits, baits that Sixth Sense has. They have the clout, which is your stick bait. They have a Ned Fry, which is kind of like a stick bait combination with, you know, uh, you can cut it down and use it as a Ned bait. You can use it as, you know, just a regular worm to Nico rig with. They have swim baits, they have a shaky head worm that you can use on a bunch of different things. It's not just a shaky head worm. They have the stroker crawl, which is a crawl style bait, similar to like a double tail grub, and you can use it in a bunch of different um, aspects. They have the six cents prawn, which is a great flipping bait. You can Texas rig it, you can Carolina rig it. You can do tons of stuff with it. You can use this stuff for jig trailers, swim jig trailers, spinner bait trailers, buzz bait trailers, all kinds of different stuff. And now what I wanna go into is talking about each of these baits individually and letting you know how versatile all this stuff really is. So the first bait I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Six Cents Stroker Craw 3.3 inch bait. This bait is pretty awesome. It's super versatile. Um, here's a better look at it of it in the package. As you can see right up top here, it's got those nice curly tail, you know, craws, claws on there. This bait can go great on the back of a, of a swim jig. It can go great on the back of a chatter bait, probably on a spinner bait, maybe even on a buzz bait, because a lot of people are using those, those frogs on the back of the, the buzz baits. You can probably throw this guy on there and, and get some bites on it that way as well. I've used this as a jig trailer. Um, I did it out of Lake Havasu and got some nice smallmouth using this as a jig trailer. I have also used this on a chatterbait as a trailer and caught a fish out the river not too long ago. So this thing is super, super versatile. So right here we got one of the baits outside of the package. One of the things I want to show you guys is how these come. One, they come in a great package. They're not going to get messed up inside of your tackle bag or whatever. And Sixth Sense makes some awesome tackle bags that you guys want to check out as well. And they fit perfectly inside those tackle bags. And you can use the packaging that this stuff these baits come in so that way it keeps their shape and all that they're not going to get messed up they're not going to get kinked or anything like that but this bait in particular hopefully you can see in the video this claw is attached to itself all you have to do is just give it a nice little pull and that thing comes off give the other side a nice little pull and it comes apart and it's going to give you great movement in the water trust me on this if you haven't seen these in the water great movement inside the water it does great like i said for a chatterbait trailer swim jig trailer just regular football jig trailer the hybrid jig something like that it's going to work really really well on that so one of the colors i really wanted to feature is the platinum white color this bait is not only going to be a great trailer like i said for the swim jigs for your chatterbaits for your buzz baits potentially this is also gonna be a great bed fishing bait. The bed fishing season is kind of right now and it kind of already passed where I live and I didn't really get to take advantage of it much because of this whole COVID-19 thing, unfortunately. But this was one bait that I definitely wanted to throw out there on the bed. It's white, you can see it really well and it's gonna make those fish mad, especially when you detach those tails, like or those craws like I just mentioned in the last clip. It's gonna give it a lot of action. You're gonna be able to just 
keep this bait Texas rigged and just let it sit there on the bed, make that fish mad and eventually make them pick it up and eat it. And you can catch some of the best fish of the year off the beds using a bait just like this in that white color so that way you can still see it and you can see when those fish eat that bait and you can get them in the boat. Okay, so the next bait that I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Six Cent Prawn. It's a 4.2 inch bait and it's super, super versatile, just like the Stroker Craw. I've used this as a Carolina rig bait. I've used it as a Texas rig bait. I've used it as a jig trailer. I've flipped it. You can do so many different things with this bait. It, it, it blows your mind, it's super versatile. And that's the great thing about all the plastics in the Six Cents lineup is that they're super versatile. Uh, one of my favorite ways to fish this is as a jig trailer. And uh, this, the prawn itself, um, a lot of times I like to use smaller jigs so you can easily cut the prawn down to kind of fit your finesse jigs or your smaller football head jigs. It's gonna work really well on the hybrid jig. Those are, those are a fairly decent sized jig and it's gonna give you a big profile for a real big bite. And um, this is a good shot right here of the prawn itself. And just like the stroker craw, you can pull those, those little claws apart right here at the end and it's gonna give you a lot more movement just like that. So when it's going through the water, it's gonna give you a little bit more flutter and a little bit more action. One thing I haven't done yet that I really want to do is to basically cut off these pieces right here, these little small little claws right here on both sides and rig it vertically like this. And it's gonna give you kind of that action of a bluegill and use it as like a, a swim jig trailer or a chatterbait trailer or something like that to kind of give you that vertical presentation of like a tail on a bluegill or something like that. Something else with the prawn that I haven't done personally with, but I've heard is a good option with it, is fishing it on a shaky head. Something like the Divine Shaky Head by Six Cents would be a great option for you to do on that. It totally makes sense to me that a fish would eat it because anything that's standing up, which this shaky head will do, it's gonna get those claws to give you a lot of good action. And the Six Cents Shaky Head has the perfect size hook to go on that prawn. It's not gonna be too big of a hook. It's not gonna be too small of a hook because I know a lot of those finesse shaky heads out there, you may not be able to fish something like the prawn on because it's not gonna have a wide enough gap in that hook, but the Sixth Sense Divine Shaky Head is definitely gonna be an option for you. And someone on Instagram, I posted a video about it, about me catching a fish on the prawn, talking about how versatile it is, and someone commented that they've been using it as a shaky head bait, so that may be something that you wanna try because I have a feeling not a lot of people are fishing the prawn or a lot of those cross style baits on a shaky head. Okay, so the next bait that I wanna talk to you guys about is the Six Sense Ned Fry 4.6 inch bait. And this has become my go-to Ned Rig bait. And you might be going, it's 4.6 inches. How are you fishing that on a Ned Rig? Most of them are nice and small. And this has this Ned Rig right here actually has an oversized hook in it. It's just one that I had lying around here in the garage. I made this one myself and was able to, to put a little bit bigger size hook in it. But what you can do with this Ned Fry and I'll take it out of the package so you guys can see it a little bit better, is you can totally cut this bait down. This is a real no movement bait. If you look at your standard stick baits or your Six Sense Cloud or something like that, they just get bit because they don't give you all that movement. Sometimes you want movement, sometimes you don't want movement. But what I like to do with this bait is about cut it in half and rig this on a Ned rig. I was at Lake Havasu and I was having a real, real tough time catching fish. And I ended up doing just that. I cut this bait down about halfway. So I had the tail of it on my Ned rig. I rigged it up so it was nice and straight on my Ned rig. Casted this thing out onto some rocks. Caught a real nice smallmouth doing that. And that's really been my go-to technique with this Ned Fry. But there's so many different options that you can do with this. You could take you know, your EWG style hooks and and hook this thing on there, cast it out weightless. It's got enough weight that you could cast it. This thing does float, so you're gonna get a real, real slow fall. The only thing that's really making that thing fall is one, your fluorocarbon and your hook. So you're gonna get real slow, slow fall. Um, you can also put this on a Carolina rig, and then once again, it's gonna have a slow fall too. You can also do this on a shaky head. You can do this on the Texas rig. You could drop shot it. There's a ton of different things that you can do with these baits. But like I said, the thing that I've found the most success with so far, and I haven't gotten to fish this as much as I would have liked, is, is fishing it on the Ned Rig, but I wanna play around with it a little bit more. I would have been playing around with it a lot more this time of year, because a lot of times that, that 
stick bait bite out here in San Diego does really, really well post spawn. That's when I really wanted to try this thing out as almost like a floating worm or something like that because this thing's gonna float. It's gonna give you a real, real slow fall, slower than your stick baits that are loaded with salt and everything. So I wanted to try that out, but that bite's kind of probably fading based on the time of year that we are right now in San Diego. But that doesn't mean I can't utilize this in a lot of other aspects and a lot of other techniques. So the next bait that we're gonna talk about is the Divine Swim Bait. I've got two different sizes with me, but there are three sizes. This is the 3.2 and this is the 3.8, but they also make a 4.4 inch version of this swim bait. Um, I've done a few different things with these baits so far. You could fish these on a chatter bait. You could fish them on an umbrella rig. You can fish them just on a jig head. You can fish them as a spinner bait trailer. You could fish them as, as a chatter bait trailer. Um, you could fish them as a swim jig trailer, which I've done and caught fish with. I've also fished them on the Alabama rig, and I had them as my dummy baits because every swim bait on the market has a little bit different action. And I wanted some, some baits that had more action because I was targeting smallmouth, and a lot of times those smallmouth want more and more and more action. That doesn't mean that smallmouth aren't going to eat this, but for that time of year, I wanted them to have more action on the on the hooks that were that were accessible because I was fishing in the desert. You can only have two hooked baits. You could have other dummy baits on there. And I wanted the baits with the most action to be the ones that had the hooks on them. Now there might be other situations where you're gonna go with all the same baits. But in this case, I specifically wanted to have the divine swim baits as my dummy baits. And then the ones with the, the little bit bigger tail swing to have the hooks in them and i was able to do that and i was able to catch some good small mouth doing it unfortunately i had a tough tournament out there at lake Cavasu, but that's just the way things go but i was able to manipulate the different the different actions that the swim baits provide and maximize it in order to get a couple bites one of the great things about the divine swim bait is it comes in a ton of different colors so if you're trying to match a bluegill they got you covered if you're trying to match a shad they got you covered there's so many different color options available to you you're going to be able to find whatever you like when i'm fishing around smallmouth i really like those chartreuse shad style baits when i'm fishing around here locally that's where some of your more platinum white style colors and some of your pro blues and stuff like that are going to come in really really handy but another great you use for these divine swim baits is on the back of a divine swim jig it's a great swim jig trailer it's got a nice tight tail movement to these baits and it works really really well on the divine swim jig so i think it's a great great option caught some fish here locally doing that and um, it's definitely something i'm going to continue to be doing so the next bait i want to talk to you guys about is the divine shaky worm the Divine Shaky Worm comes in two different sizes. You got the 6.3 and then you have a seven inch version of this bait as well. I have been using the 6.3 inch version the most, but I definitely think that seven inch version can come in handy out here in San Diego in the summertime because sometimes they really like a big worm out here in the summertime. And one of my favorite ways to fish this bait is on the Divine Shaky Head itself. And I just put it on that screw lock and then I just expose that Shaky Worm so that way I get nice, good, hook penetration into those bass. And so far, one of my favorite colors is watermelon candy and obviously green pumpkin. This is green pumpkin blue. And then melon dawn is also a great color option for those really clear water days. And I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna take this bait out of the package and sometimes the pink that this melon dawn color has in it, for whatever reason, works really well in your clear water scenario. So you have two great clear water colors with this bait. You have the pink, and then you have a nice green watermelon color to it. Hopefully it's coming through on the screen here. But this bait right here, great clear water color, and one that I'm definitely gonna start utilizing more. I got it specific for a couple lakes out here locally where they like some of those morning dawn style colors, which is why I picked this one out of the Sixth Sense lineup. Okay, so the last bait in the six cents soft plastic lineup, but not the one that you wanna buy least, is the six cents clout. This is the stick bait that six cents has put out on the market. And I have caught a couple fish on this so far, and it's definitely gonna be a fish catcher. I've seen a lot of other videos of, of guys fishing this bait and catching some really, really quality fish. This bait, once again, you can fish on a Texas rig. You can take your 
four aught or five aught um, six cents wide gap hooks and get and get good hook penetration. These are super soft, super salty baits, and pretty much anywhere that you throw a Senko normally, you can definitely give this bait a shot. And I think you're gonna be pretty impressed with your results. You could put this on a shaky head, you could Carolina rig it. Wherever you're gonna throw a stick bait, that's where you're gonna to wanna to throw the six cents clout. When the, the bite starts to get tough, or you have a lot of grass and those fish don't wanna eat a reaction bait or something like that, and you need something weedless, and it's a situation where you would normally throw a stick bait, that's where you wanna go with the six cents clout. I've Texas rigged this so I could pitch it into some submerged brush and caught fish doing it that way. And that's that's probably where I locally am gonna fish this the most, but you could also wacky rig this, Nico rig this, and throw this up against the Thule somewhere. You can throw this in the grass. You could put this on a Ned rig. Not your best option when it comes to the Ned rig because this doesn't float. So it's not gonna utilize your Ned rig as good as it can, but in a pinch, this will definitely be a bait you can use on the Ned rig. So it's hard to beat a green pumpkin or a watermelon color when it comes to your stick baits. But one thing I wanted to highlight is this cosmic black color that, that Sixth Sense has to offer. And it's a black plastic, but it also has some of that red, purple, and a little bit of silver flake in it. And this is gonna be a great option in that dirtier water when the bite's tough and it's time to throw that stick bait and it's tried to really you know, coax those bass to bite. This is gonna be something that you're gonna wanna try in that dirtier water. I'm gonna be fishing the Delta later on this year in August, and I'm definitely packing some of these for when I get into that dirty water scenario and I need those fish to bite, and I, maybe I just need one more bite, or maybe they're just on the stick bait and I'm fishing dirty water. This is gonna be my go-to color. In clear water, that's when I'm gonna go with my green pumpkin or something like that. But when it comes to dirty water or something like that, that's where you're gonna wanna go with the black. And this cosmic black color is definitely one that you're gonna wanna have in the boat in case you run into that dirty water. So I really hope you guys enjoyed learning all about these awesome soft plastics that Sixth Sense has to offer. And I really hope that you guys Go to the website and buy some baits and take advantage of that 25% off code that I provided you. It's SP25 and it's good on the Six Cents website. So make sure to go load up on your Six Cents plastics. Use that discount code if you guys end up getting anything else, rods, um, hooks, tackle bags, uh, swim jigs, crankbaits, whatever. That's where the Luna 10 code is gonna come into play. It's gonna work on everything else on the website except for some of the subscription um, stuff that Sixth Sense has to offer. But any of your tackle, Sixth Sense has provided me the Luna 10 code for you guys to take advantage of. And then they've offered out the SP25 code on all their soft plastics. So I really want you guys to go take advantage of that code while it's 25% off. And if you buy anything else other than soft plastics, that's where that Luna 10 code is gonna come in handy. So I know this video is a little bit different than what I normally put out for you guys. Normally it's tackle making or fishing and that's where I feature some of the baits when I'm actually fishing. But I hope some of the clips that I provided in this video of me fishing some of these baits in particular um, shows you that they work, provides you the confidence that you need to go out there and buy some of these baits. And I hope this video is entertaining and provided you some knowledge so that way when you go out fishing next time, you can put these baits to use and catch some fish yourself. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. If you have any questions, make sure to drop those questions down in the comment and give this video a like if you liked it. But um, again, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I really thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys later, lunatics. Bye.